think one of the things we lack today um, is persons who have a vision of where this country should go. And Jerome has always impressed me with his vision for the country. In the number two seat, Jerome is someone who respect authority. So this is someone who will be a key player in not challenging the leadership, sharing its vision, embracing others to come in with a goal to move ahead. Once you give him something to do, he analyzes it and he runs with it. Let's make a great deputy leader. Jerome brings uh, several qualities um, to whether it's business, personal, or professional in terms of politics. And I think some of those qualities, are he's very thoughtful, um, very inclusive, and um, more importantly, um, very decisive. Once he makes his mind up to do something, um, he goes uh, full force and uh, he will uh, do what he thinks is in the best interest of uh, the most people. He's a person with great integrity. He is empathetic in that he listens to people. He can feel what you're feeling. Um, he's all embracing and welcoming, doesn't mind your background or anything, he just chills right in with you. And this is the type of person you'll need for today's world in leading the Bahamas out of the depressive state we're in now and giving people hope for a brighter future. Jerome is still young, you know, and um, so I think he will pull all the youth out there that are kind of leaderless right now. They don't know what to do, where to go. They have ambitions, but they have no real vehicle to realize those ambitions. And um, Jerome is someone I think who could bring all that you know, youth together and, and, and um, put it in the right direction. Jerome will bring a new focus, a new vision, a new brand, and I say brand in, in, in its purest sense, and um, a new structure. We're entering, we're entering 40 years of nationhood, and it is that time for a change, and Jerome is one of those persons that I see as visionaries who will take us to our next and better level. And we have uh, Senator Fitzgerald, who obviously is someone who would appeal to the younger generation, I am sure. And not only because of his youth, but also because of his dynam dynamism, because of the fact that he has shown himself to be a person who knows what is going on, a person who has shown himself to be fearless. Um, a person who has shown himself to actually care about his country. A person who has shown himself to be dedicated to his party, to the country, to people in general. And so I am happy that come the time for us to make a choice about who will be the deputy leader of our party. That we do have a Senator Fitzgerald. Um, I think the country is looking for young the visionary um, leadership and I, I think Jerome as a family man, as a businessman and as a true friend I think um, Jerome can add a lot of value and um, this is what the country needs at this particular time as we uh, enter this crossroad of um, where we want to be as a country and as a people and I think you'll do a good job. He, he has a stellar character there is nothing I think that anybody can point to that would make anybody question the kind of man that he is. And that speaks volumes for his ability and capacity to meet the um, requirements of the position, the, uh, the position of deputy leader. You don't really see very many people coming to the forefront who you feel you can trust, who you feel have their pulse on what is really important at this at this time. I think that he is the one person that I know I can trust with this country for the future of my children. It's time for a new type of leadership, a new type of Bahamian politics, and Jerome will will in fact bring that. Our challenges today may be somewhat different from those of our forefathers. Nevertheless, the challenges remain and still require dynamic, bold, entrepreneurial-minded leadership with a plan and vision to transform its people 
and their country with a focused determination. Only then can our Bahamas achieve its great destiny. And we may again say with confidence and without fear of contradiction, yes, it's still better in the Bahamas. That tonight's gonna be